Hi, I'm Rosie Barron, I'm the Tidy Coo. I'm a professional organiser and KonMari consultant. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about packing. The reason I want to talk to you about packing is because, whoa, we're actually being let out a little bit. Um, the UK government is uh, really re relaxing some of the restrictions and it looks like we might actually get a holiday this year, which would be really quite exciting, I think. Whether you're going abroad or staying at home, we're not going abroad, can't afford it with four kids, frankly. So, <laughs> so we will be staying in the UK. But I just thought I'd have a little bit of a chat about how we go about our packing. There's three stages to packing. The first stage is preparation. The second stage is sort of collation. And the third stage is the actual packing. So the first stage for the preparation. Um, I have had a packing list for as long as I can remember. Um, it, it, this is this is I'm not I can give you a link to this. This is just basically a bog standard packing list that I've had that I change for every single you know every single time we go on holiday. I bring this up. I have a look through to see what we might need, what we might not need. Um, edit it as as I need, and then I've got it and I can pack from a list. And it really is important to pack from a list because. I don't know whether it's, again, just because we're constantly travelling with uh, four children and we just don't, we don't have any space. You know, when you get to a, an airport and you get to the hire car and you're like, wow, is that it? We're supposed to put all of us in there. And it says like, oh, it seats six people and 30,000 suitcases. And you're like, that six seats, four people and possibly one suitcase. So that's why I really try to minimise my packing um, things. So... Uh, I basically did like a pretend pack because I'm not actually going on a holiday, but I thought let's just do a little pretend pack here. Uh, and so this is uh, what I thought I might, I decided I would go for that most unlikely of scenarios, which was a week away, possibly at the beach with my husband without the children, because I thought it was a really exciting uh, thought, that one. Um, let me just put my packing list down on the floor because, you know, I uh, can't be bothered to do anything else. So what I've got over here then, I've tried to, I haven't gone as minimal as I might sometimes go for this, but sometimes I would literally, if I'm going for a beach holiday, I would take a swimming costume and I would take a cover up and that would probably be about it. But I've pretended that um, we're going somewhere slightly more exciting than that and possibly there might even be a night out or something. So what I've done is I've got some different bottoms here and some different tops. Um, because I don't have that many clothes um, in general, most of my clothes all sort of in the same colourway, so they'll all sort of go together. So I've got, um, you know, this T-shirt here would go with any of the any of the bottoms, really. Uh, this one would go with most of them, possibly not that one. This one would go again. So you can see that I can mix and match the outfits. So I have got my, I have sorted it out, so I have just about a clean T-shirt every day because I like to be clean, despite the fact that I would probably spend most of my time in my swimming costume. And therefore, I have got two swimming costumes for that very reason. Um, so I might spend most of my time in my swimming costume, but you know, imagining that perhaps this is a slightly more exciting holiday, uh, I have added some extra t-shirts in just to keep myself nice and clean. Um, I have sort of, that's my, my makeup bag, that's my toiletries, These, this is my jewellery, my, my jewellery of course I will probably wear on the actual, um, on the actual day when I'm travelling, uh, pyjamas, two swimmers, I even stuck in a microfiber towel because you know you get some villas sometimes and they're like, please don't use our towels on the beach. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll use a microfiber towel. This is a wet bag, which is brilliant for transporting wet stuff, obviously, but also very useful for putting um, things in for, say, say if you're checking baggage in, there's useful to stick stuff in so if it explodes, it doesn't go over everything, which is a real nightmare if you happen to not um, have, say, a washing machine. Uh, I've also got, I've also stuck in a couple of smart dresses. As I say, I'm pretending this is a really exciting, uh, exciting time when I might actually might go out for a romantic candlelit dinner or something. Or even two, because look, there's two dresses. Um, and this is my sort of my, my beach cover up as well. So um, bottoms wise, I've got uh, trousers, I've got skirt, I've got jeans probably for the way out and the way back or the way back anyway. And um, shorts. And then I've got some cardigans because I'm assuming I'm going somewhere warm if it's a beach holiday. So what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to put them into outfits uh, in order to pack. So when I um, when I do my preparation bit, I might have a little think about what, what we might be up to each day. And if I'm really sensible, I'll even look at the weather forecast. So I might say, well, that day looks like it might be a bit cooler, so I might be more likely to wear um, shorts on that day. But I always pack things into outfits. 
Um, and so I'm going to sort of show you how I do that as well. And um, yeah, let's 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 start rolling stuff up. So I put pretty much everything that I need for one outfit, even down to my underwear, and I've popped it into um, a little package like that. So what you might notice at this point is that these things all had sort of, they were complete outfits with bottoms. I've got to the point now where I'll be reusing the bottoms. So, you know, I've literally just put my t-shirt and a pair of pants in it. Um, as I'm going on a beach holiday, I'm gonna assume I'm not even wearing um, socks. I don't even need socks. Okay, so now I'm into like the, the just the cover-ups, obviously the cover-ups and things, obviously they don't have um, an outfit with them because I'll just be wearing them over the swimmers. Now I would wear the jewellery that I'm taking with me, so I wouldn't bother packing it, it would just go on my fingers and hands and things. Along with a pair of shoes. I would wear these to the airport. So that's everything all folded up, ready to go in. Um, I'm going to put it in my suitcase. Now obviously it's been a few months years i don't know since we actually went on holiday it may take me actually more than one attempt to get this in perfectly but i'm going to have a go at doing it in first time without any issues um i am of course going to pack the things that i think i'll need immediately on the top so uh the ones the outfits which were just like pants and t-shirt basically will be packed towards the bottom and then the the full outfits will be packed towards the top First of all, trying to get out, first of all, try and work out how to get into your suitcase because it's been so long. I'm going to put my wash bag in the um, wet bag that I've got here, basically, in order that, so if anything in it explodes, it's all kept within the wet bag. I realised I forgot to show you that it was all in here. Only just for in. Obviously my packing has uh, gone off a little bit, basically, <laughs> because it's been so long. Um, but uh, I have, I know it will fit in. This um, sort of small stuff here is going to go in my handbag instead. So I have a, a separate handbag which has that in. Um, so anyway, right, now to close it. Okay, so I have packed as if I were going to check this, as if I were, um, I don't know, flying, I don't know, if I was flying somewhere where there, where there was no overhead locker space, but this is actually small enough to be taken as carry-on. Therefore, if I was actually going to take it as carry-on, the one thing I would have done there is I would have separated out my toiletries that needed to go through um, the scanner, and I would have made sure that they were in my handbag, so that this, so that I wasn't faffing around with this, you know, it, at the at the scanners and the x-rays, everything I needed to take out would be just in here instead. Um, so I think that's it. Let's, um, good luck if you go on holiday um, and uh, let me know how you get on if you go on holiday and if you manage to um, fit it all into one little carry-on for a week. <laughs>